going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are all doing fantastic. Couple of things that we're going to be doing in today's video, if I can spin my hat around to where you can actually see that. Yes, this is an LMP beanie. Anyways, couple of things going on in today's video. Number one, we're going to be putting on a new exhaust system on the first gen because if you come take a look at this truck, it sounds absolutely horrible because it still has a factory muffler on it. Now, I've gotten some comments about the frame on this truck and they were actually quite rude. I just want to point out a couple of things. First off, there's some people saying that the coating that I did on the frame was cheap and half butt in the kindest way I can say it and all this other stuff because it was just all oh, just a rotted out frame and I'm just covering it up with some spray. First off, none of that's true and I actually went through and explained to you what my process was for this frame. I said the frame had no deep corrosion or rot. And so all I did was I took a super rough bristly brush, not metal, but a super firm brush, and I brushed off all of the dirt. And if you look at this, it's smooth, it's clean, it's flush, okay? And it's not all rotted out and scaly, just so you know. And some people are just kind of making some really rude assumptions and comments and saying how, you know, we didn't see you actually clean the frame thoroughly, so how do we know you actually did it and you didn't just spray it over? Well, because I wouldn't do that. So please take it easy in the comments. Don't assume things that you're not certain of. Thank you guys for understanding. Let's carry on with the video. Because it doesn't sound that great when you get on the tail end of the exhaust, you don't really hear anything. It's all just engine noise in the front. No party in the back, you know, when you gotta have some noise back there. And another thing is, Kayla from New Jersey is picking up her 7.3 Power Stroke today. And I know some of you may have forgotten about the 7.3 Power Stroke since we haven't done anything with it in a while. So we're gonna get that truck started up and just make sure, of course, because it's been a couple, I think it's been three days since I drove it. Um, the truck's always started right up on a dime and it just rang great, but it is very cold out and we got a bunch of snow in April, bunch of snow. I remember that happening back in middle school. We got like eight inches in April once. It was crazy, but I think we're getting like almost six inches today. So anyhow, I wanna make sure the truck started up and cleaned out and all good to go for her when she picks up her truck. So we're gonna to get to starting this truck up here and making sure it's all cleaned up and ready to go. Okay, let's see how she fires up. Just so you know, it's the middle of April and this is snow. Gonna let the truck cycle through the fuel system and let the glow plug cycle. You can hear it cycling. He's gonna pull it around for us. She's got a little snow on her, so you gotta picture it with that snow. It's <laughs> clean still. It's still clean. clean. Yeah. yeah. We need to check it out. How do you like them headlights? A lot of people have They're so crap. nice. I've been talking about them. <laughs> yeah, I really like them. Yeah.
gone. Off to New Jersey, Kayla. And, um, you know, I say I like a lot of trucks, but that 7.3 is probably my favorite Ford that I've owned, even over the Platinum. The Platinum is super sick and high tech and all that stuff. But I think I like that truck in terms of the transformation that it took and just being a cool, old, reliable, yet super modernized looking sleek truck. It just looked good. It was well put together, ran great, super clean. Probably one of the cleanest Fords you'd ever see or up north around here. But uh, yeah, gonna miss the truck a little bit. But then again, we really didn't drive it. It was just super cool. And we have a lot of super cool trucks. I'm definitely gonna miss it. Anyways, we got most of the exhaust off the first gen. We got the tailpipe section off. We got the muffler off. The only problem is we're gonna need a sawzall to be able to reach up in there and cut off the last little piece of exhaust that's in the way. Those of you who have you know, dealt with first gen exhaust, you know that the bend going from the turbo straight down and then straight back right past the transmission is a really sharp bend. So we've got to cut from about the back of the transmission and then it's just cut there and there's no other place I can get a grinder in to get it up and around anything all the way back up until you get to the actual you know, part where it mounts up to the turbo itself. So we're gonna need to pick up a Sawzall. So that's gonna be kind of, I guess, where we're gonna have to leave it off for today. A Little bit of a bummer, but I don't have the tool, so I can't finish it, so I don't know what else to do. Um, but anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you wanna be as lucky as Kayla and have the opportunity to take home a beautiful truck, that 1989 first-gen 5-speed 12-valve, we're giving away the one sitting out front, the red and white one, with $5,000 cash. You got $5,000 as well. If you want that opportunity, you guys are running out of time. It ends on May 7th which in theory sounds like it's far away. You're like, oh, it's a, it's a month from now. It's not a month from now. It's about two weeks until that giveaway will be pretty much wrapping up and uh, you don't want to miss out on your chance to win that truck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We will get to finishing this probably in the very next video you see. The exhaust will be getting finished. We'll be putting parts on this and some other stuff. So stay tuned guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. If you want to enter to win a truck, there's a link down in the description below. It's lnpgear.com and every $5 is right now five entries to win that first gen with $5,000 cash at lnpgear.com. So click that link down in the description here Go to the website and get entered today. And also, what are you doing, Reagan? What, what do you have going on? What day is this video going up? This video is going to be going up on a Monday. Wow. So that means two days and then your giveaway starts too? Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> now you guys are going to have two chances to win trucks for one of us, right? You can tell them what the website is. Dieselbabygear.com. Yep. Dieselbabygear.com. Her links are always in the in the description now. So if I say go enter to win her truck or go subscribe to her channel, the links are always in my description. If you want to go check out her website, go check out her new merch and all of her stuff that's about to drop. You can go check out her channel to subscribe because this is going to be a smaller giveaway. Hers is going to be mostly like a fan base style giveaway. So yeah. it's still going to be a fairly smaller giveaway. So take advantage of that, get entered to win her truck when that goes live on Wednesday the 22nd. Yes. And you guys could be taking home the freaking extended cab short bed 12 valve, which I love, some people don't like the short beds, but if you ask me, it is the holy grail 12 valves and you won't wanna miss out on the chance to take that truck home. Anyways guys, thank you so much. We'll catch you in the next video, peace.